This video covers the main setup instructions for a standard and split King Quest 4.0 adjustable base. To begin standard setup, place the carton in the desired bed setup location, using two people to move the base at all times. Cut and remove all tape and binding straps from the carton. Be careful not to puncture the box with any sharp objects. Lift the adjustable base from the carton and remove the plastic cover. Lay the base on the ground, keeping the bottom side facing up. Carefully remove the items that are fastened to the base with cable ties and set them aside. The legs are shipped fully assembled, but leg segments may be unscrewed to achieve custom leg height options of 3 inch increments. To install the legs, thread the washer over the bolt of the leg with the recessed side facing the leg and tighten by hand. Be careful not to over tighten. Do this on all four corners. Uncoil the input cord connected to the control box's power port and plug it into the power supply. Using two people, carefully flip the base over onto its legs. Do not rest the frame on its side or drag it across the floor as excessive pressure may damage the legs. Insert the power cord into the power supply. Plug the power cord into a power outlet. A surge protector is recommended. Place each end of the mattress retainer bar into the inserts at the foot of the base. Remove the back cover of the remote and install the remote batteries. Quickly test remote functions to verify proper setup and return the base to a flat position before placing the mattress on top. Use the remote control to lift the head of the base in order to locate the puck connector secured on the corner of the frame. Connect it to the puck voice controls cord. The puck voice control will arrive in the off position and you will need to activate the puck by selecting an invocation command of your preference, either hello ergo or hello motion. Once the invocation phrase is spoken, the microphone will activate for 8 seconds, indicated by the blue light, during which time you can give a voice command to adjust your bass. See the full list of voice commands in your owner's manual. Standard setup is complete. If you are installing a second twin long base for a split king setup, continue with the following instructions. Start by setting up the second twin long base alongside the first. Use the same instructions for the standard setup previously mentioned in this video. Once the twin longs are side by side, use the provided connecting straps to secure the adjacent legs together at both the head and foot end. You will need to slightly loosen the adjacent legs to allow the strap to fit onto each leg bolt. Once secured on the leg bolts, retighten the legs by hand. If you'd like to operate the bases independently, just make sure that you set a different invocation command on each puck device, and setup is complete. To sync the two bases, you will need to first disconnect the bases from their power source. Then connect the male ends of the sync cord to the female connection from the multifunction port of each control box. Plug the bases back into the power source, and the bases will now be synced. Both remotes will now operate the two bases simultaneously. See the owner's manual for additional information or call customer service at 1-888-550-3746.